the forthcoming Mercury retrograde, spanning from August 5th to August 29th, 2024, promises to be an extraordinary and challenging period. It's important to note that these insights are based on sidereal or Vedic astrology, which accounts for the approximately 24 degree difference with the tropical zodiac. This video focuses on the specific outcomes of Mercury's transit and its significations. Mercury symbolizes communication skills, marketing, analytical abilities, relationships with younger siblings, hobbies, manual dexterity, intelligence, quick decision-making, logical thinking, and youthfulness, playing a crucial role in our daily lives. Considering Mercury's influence in modern life, which encompasses communication, travel, internet usage, social media, news, and marketing, the impact of Mercury retrograde can be felt in all these areas. The retrograde phase is characterized by various effects, such as miscommunications, adjustments in travel plans, re-evaluation, reassessment, and the need to redo certain tasks. Individuals may find themselves compelled to redo almost everything that falls under Mercury's domain. This retrograde transit begins in Leo and shifts into Cancer, crossing the treacherous Gandantha zone, a karmic and transformative point, between August 21st and 23rd. The planetary alignments, including significant malefic influences and a karmic switch point, suggest a time of delays, frustrations, and potential breakthroughs. On August 5th, Mercury stations retrograde at 9 degrees of Leo, accompanied by Venus and the Moon. Initially, this alignment of benefics might appear favorable. However, a closer look reveals a challenging scenario. Saturn in Aquarius casts a restrictive aspect on this trio, creating feelings of frustration and entrapment. Mars in Taurus adds to the tension with its fourth aspect, intensifying anger and irritability. This combination of Saturn and Mars' malefic influences indicates a period where people might feel constrained by external authorities or responsibilities, leading to potential conflicts and a sense of stagnation. Adding to the complexity, K2, the south node, is positioned in Virgo where Mercury rules, while the sun trails behind, forming a Papa Kirthari Yoga, a formation where malefics flank benefics, squeezing them in a vice-like grip, intensifies the pressure on Mercury, Venus, and the Moon. This configuration amplifies the difficulties, especially in areas ruled by Leo in individual charts. Expect delays and misunderstandings in communication, travel disruptions, and challenges in business and educational pursuits. The constriction in Leo signifies a revisiting of past issues, particularly those related to authority, self-expression, and creative endeavors. Around August 19th, Mercury undergoes combustion as it comes into close proximity with the Sun. This event, occurring thrice a year, often brings hidden information to light or provides new insights. Despite the ongoing afflictions, this period offers a brief window of clarity. However, this clarity is soon followed by the treacherous Gandantha crossing from August 21st to 23rd. Gandantha, occurring at the junction of water and fire signs, Cancer and Leo in this case, symbolizes a tumultuous phase of emotional upheaval and uncertainty. As Mercury transitions from Leo to Cancer, communication becomes erratic, and misunderstandings proliferate. This period is marked by heightened sensitivity and confusion. It is advisable to avoid significant decisions or commitments. Emotional confrontations and impulsive actions could lead to regrettable outcomes. On August 22nd, Mercury retrogrades into Cancer, relieving some of the previous afflictions as it moves away from the intense malefic influences in Leo. While Mercury does not find comfort in Cancer, escaping harsh aspects from Saturn and Mars provides a sense of relief. The dissolution of the Papa Kirthari Yoga signifies a reduction in the intense pressure experienced earlier in the retrograde. During this phase, Venus moves ahead into Leo, aligning with the Sun, symbolizing a shift towards more constructive and supportive interactions. Authority figures may become more cooperative, and creative and romantic endeavors might find renewed vigor. However, Mercury's placement in Ashlesha Nakshatra, ruled by Mercury itself, introduces a karmic element. This nakshatra represents hidden knowledge, transformation, and cunning. As Mercury navigates Ashlesha, innovative and unconventional solutions might emerge, but caution is necessary to avoid unethical or deceitful actions, as Rahu's influence can tempt one towards dubious means. Throughout this Mercury retrograde, the emphasis is on introspection, patience, and careful communication. The initial phase in Leo highlights a period of revisiting past issues related to personal expression, authority, and creative blocks. Expect delays and miscommunications, particularly in professional and educational spheres. It's a time to reassess and realign rather than push forward aggressively. When Mercury retrogrades in Leo, 
It emphasizes revisiting creative projects, re-evaluating self-expression, and rethinking leadership roles. Leo, ruled by the sun, is associated with confidence, creativity, and authority. During this period, individuals may feel a strong urge to reflect on how they present themselves to the world and reconsider their approach to personal and professional life. This is a time to address any unresolved issues related to pride, recognition, and creative expression. Miscommunications and misunderstandings in these areas are likely, but they also present opportunities to clarify and improve. The combustion phase offers a brief respite with potential revelations. Use this time to gather insights and prepare for the emotionally charged Gundanta crossing. During the Gundanta period, maintain calm, avoid confrontations, and postpone major decisions. This phase is best navigated with a focus on inner clarity and emotional balance. As Mercury retrogrades into Cancer, the reduction in external pressures allows for a more reflective and nurturing approach. Engage in activities that promote emotional well-being and address unresolved family or domestic issues. The presence of Venus and the Sun in Leo during this period encourages creative and harmonious pursuits, albeit with a cautious approach towards new ventures or agreements. During retrograde, Mercury's enforced introspection helps individuals to revisit old conversations, review decisions, and reassess strategies. This process fosters wisdom and thoughtfulness, transforming perceived challenges into chances for personal development. This Mercury retrograde is characterized by intense malefic influences, karmic shifts, and a transformative Gundanta crossing. It is a period demanding caution, patience, and introspection. By navigating these challenges with mindfulness and ethical integrity, individuals can emerge with valuable insights and a renewed sense of direction. To assess the impact of this transit, it's crucial to consider your ascendant and moon signs. The ascendant sign provides insights into the timing of life events, while the moon sign reveals how you'll emotionally respond to these changes. Additionally, consider the position of your current Mahadasha Lord in your birth chart, as it can shed light on how these transits will influence the recurring themes of your current Dasha period. A more precise understanding of the impact of this transit can be gained by examining Mercury's Ashtaka Varga score in Leo and Cancer. Keep in mind that the effects of this transit will differ from person to person, contingent on Mercury's interaction with the planets in their individual birth charts and its transit through the zodiac. It's also worth noting that individuals currently experiencing the influence of Mercury Dasha may feel the effects of this transit more intensely. It's important to remember that the effects of this transit will vary for each person. To understand how this transit may affect you based on your zodiac sign and the houses it transits, let's delve into those specifics. For Aries, the retrograde of Mercury in Leo and its subsequent movement into Cancer from August 5th to August 29th will have significant impacts on various aspects of life, including communication, decision-making, relationships, and finances. When Mercury turns retrograde in Leo on August 5th, you may find that your usual clarity in communication is hindered. This period will challenge your ability to interpret and process information from your environment accurately. You might feel less vigorous impacting the quality of your interactions and decisions. It's crucial to adopt a calm and measured tone in your speech, avoiding any aggressive or hasty remarks that could lead to misunderstandings or conflicts. During Mercury's retrograde in your fifth house, which governs creativity, romance, and children, you may experience difficulties in making sound decisions. Despite having an abundance of information, a hasty approach could prevent you from leveraging it effectively. Patience and a disciplined, practical mindset are essential to navigate this period successfully. Miscommunications and sudden changes in plans may lead to feelings of frustration and self-doubt. Mercury retrograde can create unexpected twists in your ventures and relationships. Your usual confidence in decision-making might waver, leading to potential challenges. This is a time to come out of your comfort zone and face these obstacles with resilience. Unplanned expenditures, particularly related to vehicle or home repairs, may arise, adding to the sense of instability. Property-related matters might also bring conflicts of opinion, demanding a balanced and patient approach. The retrograde movement of Mercury into Cancer on August 22nd and its transit through the Gundantha zone from August 21st to 23rd can cause emotional instability. This period may bring deep-seated issues to the surface, affecting your mental and emotional health. It's important to practice self-care and introspection, addressing any unresolved emotional matters that could be impacting your well-being. 
Listening to others and considering different perspectives will aid in making better decisions and improving your emotional state. Mercury retrograde in your fifth house will also intersect with the presence of Venus and the Sun, which will join mid-month. This combination can bring matters from the past, especially related to work, to the forefront. Ketu's transit in your sixth house indicates that past issues, particularly in your professional life, may resurface, requiring attention and resolution. While there might be higher expenses, this period also offers opportunities for creativity and fun. Singles may find new romantic interests, making this a potentially exciting time for love and social activities. For Aries students and those involved in speculative activities, this retrograde period may bring delays and challenges. Avoid taking risks during this time, as the likelihood of miscalculations and setbacks is high. If you are engaged in creative or artistic endeavors, you may feel stuck or uncertain about your progress. It's essential to stay calm and persistent, as the presence of a strong Mars alongside Jupiter can provide the energy and determination needed to overcome obstacles. Romantic relationships and friendships will be under scrutiny during this Mercury retrograde. Miscommunications and difficulties in expressing feelings may lead to quarrels or strained interactions. It's a period of rethinking and reevaluating your connections, which can ultimately lead to solutions and better understanding. Keeping your temper in check, especially at the beginning of the transit, will help in maintaining harmony and finding constructive resolutions. Despite the challenges, this retrograde period holds the promise of solutions, particularly towards the end of the transit when Mercury turns direct in Cancer on August 29th. The initial agitation caused by Mars will subside, allowing for creative and practical resolutions to emerge. This will be a time to address educational, romantic, financial, and friendship-related concerns with newfound clarity and insight. Overall, the Mercury retrograde period from August 5th to August 29th will be a time of introspection and reevaluation for Aries. By adopting a patient and practical approach, avoiding hasty decisions, and maintaining clear communication, you can navigate the challenges and emerge stronger. This period offers opportunities for personal and professional growth, creativity, and the potential for new romantic connections. Stay calm, listen to others, and embrace the transformative energy of this retrograde to achieve positive outcomes. For Taurus individuals, Mercury's retrograde transit through Leo and Cancer from August 5th to August 29th will have significant impact. This period will bring challenges to various aspects of life, including communication, decision-making, relationships, and finances. From August 5th, when Mercury retrogrades in Leo, Taurus will experience disruptions in communication and decision-making processes. This retrograde will particularly affect your speech, listening abilities, negotiation skills, and the management of documents and emails. You might encounter misunderstandings and miscommunications in personal and family relationships. It's essential to exercise caution in all forms of communication to avoid conflicts and maintain peace. As Mercury retrogrades in your fourth house, which governs home, family, and emotions, there will be an increased focus on these areas. Issues related to your mother's health may arise, causing worry and requiring attention. Technical problems with home appliances and vehicles could lead to unplanned expenses, adding to your stress. Avoid speculation and double-check any paperwork before signing to prevent complications. The retrograde energy of Mercury in the fourth house can cause emotional instability. This period may bring about feelings of discomfort and restlessness, making it difficult to maintain inner peace. Health-related concerns might surface due to the emotional strain, so it's crucial to prioritize self-care and stress management. Listening to others and being open to different perspectives can help in making better decisions and reducing anxiety. Mercury's retrograde transit demands patience and introspection, especially on personal and professional fronts. You may face resistance when accepting others' opinions, but being receptive to different viewpoints will enhance your decision-making abilities. This period will push you out of your comfort zone, requiring you to take new initiatives and boost your self-confidence. When Mercury retrogrades into Cancer on August 22nd and moves through the Gundantha zone from August 21st to 23rd, it will affect your third house of communication, siblings, and short journeys. Sudden changes in plans may disrupt your workplace decisions, leading to arguments over trivial matters and unnecessary stress. However, this period also offers opportunities for inspiration and learning by listening to mentors or seeking guidance from knowledgeable individuals. Financially, this retrograde period requires caution. Avoid any quick money-making schemes and speculative investments, as they are likely to lead to losses. 
Focus on managing your resources wisely and be prepared for unexpected expenditures related to home repairs or vehicle maintenance. Delays and frustrations in property-related matters may occur, necessitating a patient and practical approach. For Taurus students and those involved in creative activities, this retrograde period brings mixed energies. On one hand, the presence of Venus and the Sun in your fourth house can enhance concentration and provide a conducive environment for learning. On the other hand, past issues related to children or creativity might resurface, requiring resolution. Embrace this time for relearning and refining your skills. Your relationships, particularly with family members, will be under scrutiny during this period. Mercury retrograde can lead to conflicts and misunderstandings, especially with your mother or other close relatives. It's important to remain patient and communicate clearly to avoid unnecessary tensions. You might find yourself working from home more frequently, which can bring both comfort and challenges. This retrograde period will also highlight neighborhood and domestic issues. Frustrations may arise from neighborhood disputes or domestic changes, such as renovations or relocations. Selling vehicles or property might become challenging, adding to your sense of stagnation. Mars' presence in your sign during this time calls for control over impulsivity and temper, especially at the beginning of the retrograde period. Despite the challenges, this retrograde period holds the promise of positive outcomes. When Mercury goes direct in Cancer on August 29th, you will experience significant relief and solutions to previously unresolved issues. Important communications and job opportunities may arise, helping you to realize that many of your worries were unfounded. This period of reflection and reevaluation will ultimately lead to improved decision making and a clearer path forward. Overall, the Mercury retrograde period from August 5th to August 29th will be a time of challenges and growth for Taurus. By exercising patience, embracing introspection, and maintaining clear communication, you can navigate the obstacles and emerge stronger. Focus on managing your resources wisely, being receptive to others' opinions, and addressing emotional and health concerns with care. This period offers opportunities for learning, creativity, and positive changes, paving the way for a more balanced and fulfilling future. For Gemini, Mercury's retrograde from August 5th to August 29th through Leo and Cancer will be a significant period affecting various aspects of life, including relationships, professional projects, financial matters, and personal well-being. Starting on August 5th, when Mercury retrogrades in Leo, your relationships with your partner and family may become strained. The usual clarity and intelligence you bring to situations will decline, leading to confusion and ego clashes. You might find yourself arguing over minor issues, which can escalate into more significant conflicts. It's crucial to be mindful of your behavior and avoid letting ego drive your interactions. Clear and compassionate communication will be essential to maintain harmony in your relationships. In the professional realm, this period may bring negligence and oversight, disturbing your ongoing projects. As plans fail to go as expected, anxiety and frustration may set in. It's important to adopt a practical approach and meticulously address any loose ends in both personal and professional situations. Taking new initiatives and boosting self-confidence will help navigate these challenges. However, expect sudden changes and plans at the workplace, requiring adaptability and patience. The retrograde motion of Mercury in your third house emphasizes the importance of listening to others, particularly mentors. The third house stands for communication and learning, so seek inspiration and guidance from those who can provide valuable insights. Following the advice of a mentor or finding someone to guide you will be beneficial during this period. This will help you develop a strategic approach to achieve success, particularly in financial matters. When Mercury retrogrades into Cancer on August 22nd, it will transit your second house, which governs finances and family. This transit can cause clashes of opinions with family members, potentially leading to wrong decisions that affect your savings. If you are involved in a family business, expect challenges due to differing viewpoints. It's vital to keep your financial plans to yourself until they come to fruition to avoid unnecessary conflicts and misunderstandings. Learning new skills will help you seize opportunities that enhance your financial status. Throughout this period, with Mercury in retrograde, you may find that something from the past resurfaces, particularly related to your home or nurturing habits. This could require more attention at work, possibly redoing tasks or addressing old situations with friends. This month is social, so taking short trips or changing your environment can be refreshing and provide a new perspective. However, be prepared for frustration, especially regarding legal issues, job interviews, or travel plans, as unexpected changes may arise. 
Geminis often feel particularly anxious and frustrated when Mercury, their ruling planet, goes retrograde. This period will be no different, especially with Mercury in the third house affecting communication and daily interactions. Misunderstandings with siblings, neighbors, or those close to you are likely. It's crucial to manage this frustration constructively. Take breaks, relax, and avoid getting caught up in arguments. The gundown the period from August 21st to 23rd will be especially challenging, as it marks a transition phase that can heighten anxiety and confusion. After August 23rd, when Mercury retrogrades back into the second house and turns direct on August 29th, you will notice a positive shift. Conversations with family members will become more productive, and business matters will benefit from the insights and ideas of others. Financial matters, previously in disarray, will begin to settle ingeniously, making the waiting period worthwhile. This period will offer a chance to reevaluate and implement more effective solutions to ongoing issues. Overall, Mercury's retrograde from August 5th to August 29th is a period of significant reflection and challenge for Gemini. The transit through Leo and Cancer, including the Gundanta zone, will bring about confusion in relationships, professional setbacks, and financial challenges. However, it also presents opportunities for growth and learning. Prioritizing clear communication, seeking guidance from mentors, and maintaining a practical approach will be key to navigating this period successfully. By the end of the retrograde, you will have gained valuable insights, resolved past issues, and be better prepared for future challenges with renewed clarity and confidence. For Cancer individuals, Mercury's retrograde from Leo to Cancer, spanning from August 5th to August 29th, will be significantly impact, challenging their communication, decision-making abilities, financial stability, and personal relationships. Each phase of this retrograde brings distinct influences, necessitating a thorough understanding to navigate this period effectively. Starting on August 5th, Mercury retrogrades in Leo, affecting your second house, which governs speech, negotiation, and decision-making. During this time, you might find yourself misinterpreting information from your environment, leading to confusion. Your usual clarity in communication will be compromised, making it difficult to convey your thoughts effectively. This confusion can spill over into personal and professional relationships, causing misunderstandings and conflicts. Financially, this period will be restrictive. Excessive expenses may strain your resources, making it imperative to adopt a balanced approach at home and work. It's crucial to avoid making impulsive financial decisions. The desire to earn money quickly might lead you down the wrong path, resulting in losses and potential conflicts with family members or business partners. As Mercury retrogrades in your second house, financial strategies will come under scrutiny. While you might devise plans to enhance your financial status, clashes of opinion with family members could force you to make decisions that negatively impact your savings. If you're involved in a family business, expect challenges due to differing viewpoints. This is a period to be discreet about your plans and avoid revealing them until you have tangible results. The transit will also bring unplanned expenditures on electronic gadgets, home or vehicle repairs, or potential loss of gadgets. Although retrograde Mercury usually encourages a problem-solving approach, its transit through your first house could push you toward making wrong decisions. This could lead to aggression in conversations, further straining relationships. From August 21st to 23rd, Mercury will transit the Gundanta zone, a sensitive area that often brings heightened emotions and karmic shifts. This period could be particularly challenging, as unresolved issues from the past resurface. You might find yourself dealing with old matters related to friends, siblings, or childhood connections. It's crucial to stay calm and avoid getting overly emotional, especially since these dates can amplify frustration and anger. On August 22nd, Mercury enters Cancer in retrogression, moving into your first house. This shift will bring a different set of challenges and opportunities. While the initial phase might still carry confusion and communication issues, the latter part of the retrograde offers a chance for introspection and innovation. You will start finding solutions to problems, particularly after Mercury becomes direct on August 29th. During this period, conversations with family and business partners will improve. You will gain influence over others, as your insights and solutions start to resonate with them. This is a time to listen to your inner voice and trust your intuition, especially around significant dates like August 19th, when Mercury is combust with the Sun. Pay close attention to your feelings and thoughts during this period, as they will guide you toward effective solutions. As Mercury goes direct on August 29th, the fog of confusion will begin to lift, especially in financial matters. 
This is the time when solutions to financial and personal issues will start to manifest. Conversations that were previously strained will become more productive, and you will find others more receptive to your ideas. Your financial security, which felt threatened at the beginning of the retrograde, will start to stabilize. Any unfinished business or stuck financial situations will begin to resolve. It's important to remain patient and avoid impulsive decisions throughout the retrograde period, as the clarity and solutions you seek will emerge toward the end of August. Overall, the Mercury retrograde period from August 5th to August 29th will be a transformative phase for cancer individuals. Initial challenges in communication, decision-making, and financial stability will require careful handling. Emotional turmoil during the Gundamta transit will necessitate staying calm and avoiding impulsive actions. As Mercury moves back into Cancer and turns direct, you will find solutions to problems, improved communication, and a clearer path forward. By maintaining patience, introspection, and a balanced approach, you can navigate this retrograde period successfully and emerge stronger and more insightful. For Leo individuals, Mercury's retrograde from Leo to Cancer, occurring from August 5th to August 29th, will profoundly affect, influencing their decision-making abilities, financial stability, and personal relationships. Each phase of this retrograde brings distinct challenges and opportunities, necessitating a comprehensive understanding to navigate this period effectively. Starting on August 5th, Mercury retrogrades in Leo, directly impacting your first house. This period will create confusion in how you perceive and interpret information from your immediate environment. Your decision-making abilities and relationships, especially with your partner and family, will be under strain. You may find that your usual intelligence in discerning situations and arguments declines, leading to misunderstandings and conflicts. Financially, this phase will bring delays in payments and salaries, along with potential wrong investments that could disturb your finances. The tendency to become impatient in your quest to earn a significant amount of money quickly might lead to poor financial decisions. Unplanned expenditures on electronic gadgets, home or vehicle repairs, or even loss of gadgets could strain your budget further. Your personal relationships will be particularly challenging during this time. Communication mishaps may lead to misinterpretations and conflicts, especially if ego and pride interfere. It is crucial to overcome these ego-driven tendencies and be willing to accept and rectify your mistakes. This humility will help mitigate the impact of the retrograde on your relationships. You may face a lack of confidence due to the retrograde Mercury's effect on your subconscious thoughts. This can lead to impulsive and aggressive behavior during conversations, creating additional friction in your personal and professional life. Your ability to negotiate and make sound decisions will be compromised, necessitating a cautious approach to interactions and decision-making. From August 21st to 23rd, Mercury will transit the Gandantha zone, a sensitive area often associated with heightened emotions and significant karmic shifts. During this period, you may feel overwhelmed by emotional and confrontational situations. It is essential to remain calm and avoid making any major decisions, as this transit can amplify stress and frustration. On August 22nd, Mercury enters Cancer in retrogression, moving into your 12th house. This shift will bring different challenges and opportunities. The initial phase might still carry confusion and issues in communication, but it also encourages introspection and a deeper connection with your subconscious mind. You may become more inclined towards spirituality, meditation, and religious activities, which can improve your sense of intuition. During this period, your financial strategy and planning might not yield the desired results leading to a financial crunch due to unplanned medical expenses or foreign travel. The presence of multiple options at the workplace can scatter your focus, making it difficult to stay on track with your goals. However, engaging with spiritual practices and seeking guidance from spiritual mentors can provide valuable insights and help change your thought process. Mercury retrograde in your 12th house will also highlight issues related to competitors, legal conflicts, and market pressures. The retrograde Saturn afflicting Leo and the influence of Ketu in your second house will bring back unresolved issues from the past, particularly related to your family of origin, finances, or major life plans. These pressures can make you feel trapped and frustrated, with a strong temptation to take impulsive actions. It is vital to avoid aggressive responses and instead seek calm and thoughtful solutions. Listening to your inner voice and paying attention to intuitive insights will guide you through these challenges. The combustion of Mercury on this date will be a critical moment for receiving hidden insights and understanding the deeper implications of the retrograde. As Mercury turns direct on August 29th, in Cancer, the fog of confusion will begin to lift. 
hidden insights and solutions to financial and personal issues will start to manifest. You will find that others are more receptive to your ideas and willing to support you, particularly your spouse, business partners, or close associates. This period will be a significant karmic switch point, allowing you to leave behind past frustrations and move forward with renewed clarity and purpose. By maintaining patience, introspection, and a balanced approach, you can navigate this retrograde period successfully and emerge stronger and more insightful. Overall, the Mercury retrograde from Leo to Cancer will test your communication, financial management, and personal relationships. Staying calm, avoiding impulsive decisions, and seeking spiritual guidance will be crucial in overcoming the challenges and leveraging the opportunities presented during this transformative period. Virgo individuals will face a range of challenges and opportunities during the retrograde period of Mercury from August 5th to August 29th, particularly in the areas of health, finances, and personal relationships. Each phase of this retrograde, from its inception in Leo to its transition into Cancer, brings its own set of dynamics, making it crucial for Virgo individuals to navigate this period with caution and introspection. Starting on August 5th, Mercury retrogrades in Leo, affecting Virgo's 12th house. This period will be particularly challenging for your health, as stress and anxiety may manifest physically. Be mindful of your well-being and prioritize rest and relaxation to mitigate these effects. Professional prospects will also be hindered despite your efforts, primarily due to increased expenses and financial mismanagement. The retrograde mercury will cause confusion in how you perceive and interpret information from your immediate environment, leading to miscommunications and conflicts in personal relationships. Ego hassles and a lack of clear communication can further strain these relationships, making it essential to maintain a balanced approach and practice patience. Open and honest communication will be key to mitigating misunderstandings during this period. As Mercury retrogrades through your 12th house, financial challenges will become more pronounced. Unplanned medical expenses and foreign travel may create a financial crunch. Your strategies and plans may not work as expected, adding to the financial stress. The presence of multiple options at the workplace can scatter your focus, making it difficult to achieve your goals. However, this period also offers an opportunity to delve into spirituality, meditation, and religious activities, which can improve your intuition and help you navigate these challenges. Reading books and meeting spiritual mentors can change your thought process, providing you with new perspectives and insights. This introspective approach will help you deal with the confusion and uncertainty brought about by the retrograde. From August 21st to 23rd, Mercury will transit the Gandantha zone, a sensitive area known for heightened emotions and significant karmic shifts. During this period, you may feel overwhelmed by emotional and confrontational situations. It is crucial to remain calm and avoid making any major decisions, as this transit can amplify stress and frustration. This time will also test your ability to remain balanced and composed, despite external pressures. On August 22nd, Mercury enters Cancer in retrogression, moving into your 11th house. This shift will bring new challenges and opportunities in your social connections and relationship bonding. While the initial phase may still carry confusion and issues in communication, it also encourages introspection and deeper connections with your social circle. During this period, you may struggle to make correct financial decisions, leading to a potential financial crunch. Harsh replies and miscommunications can affect your social connections and relationships. It is essential to approach your relationships with care and love, avoiding greed and jealousy to maintain harmony. Engaging in healthy conversations will help you maintain good relationships with those around you. Health issues, problems with pets, and workplace stress will be significant concerns during this retrograde. Travel problems, especially related to foreign lands, may also arise. The 12th house issues can make Virgo individuals extremely stressed and agitated, necessitating time alone to decompress and avoid being overwhelmed by these challenges. Ketu's transit in your sign adds another layer of complexity to this period. This subtle influence will push you towards a completely different direction, encouraging you to explore new insights and ideas. Working with your intuition can reveal new solutions and perspectives. As Mercury turns direct on August 29th, the difficulties that seemed insurmountable will start to resolve. The initial phase of confusion and stress will give way to clarity and new opportunities. Colleagues, friends, and network circles will become more supportive, offering help and job opportunities that you thought were lost. This period marks a significant karmic shift, enabling you to leave behind past frustrations and move forward with renewed clarity and purpose. Overall, 
the Mercury retrograde from Leo to Cancer will test Virgo individuals in various aspects of life, from health and finances to personal relationships. By maintaining patience, practicing introspection, and seeking spiritual guidance, you can navigate this challenging period successfully and emerge stronger and more insightful. Libra individuals will face a variety of challenges and opportunities during the Mercury retrograde period from August 5th to August 29th. The retrograde begins in Leo, affecting your 11th house, and then transitions into Cancer, impacting your 10th house. Each phase of this retrograde, from its inception in Leo to its transition into Cancer, brings distinct dynamics, making it crucial for Libra individuals to navigate this period with patience, diplomacy, and strategic planning. Starting on August 5th, Mercury retrogrades in Leo, affecting Libra's 11th house. This period will see clashes in your personal and familial relationships due to ego and miscommunication. Disagreements may erupt without clear reasons, as the retrograde Mercury creates confusion in how you perceive or interpret information from your immediate environment. You will need to be extra cautious in your interactions to avoid misunderstandings that constrain relationships. Financial stringency will also be a significant challenge during this period. Negligence in professional ventures and misjudgments in negotiations and decision-making will lead to financial difficulties. It will be essential to adjust to situations and relationships with dedication and hard work to succeed during this transit. Maintaining open and honest communication with colleagues and loved ones will help mitigate some of these challenges. The retrograde motion of Mercury will also affect your social connections and relationship bonding. You may find it difficult to make correct financial decisions, leading to potential financial crunches. Harsh replies and miscommunications can affect your social connections, making it essential to approach your relationships with care and understanding. Greed and jealousy may create additional challenges, but focusing on caring for and loving your near and dear ones will help you navigate these issues successfully. Healthy conversations will be crucial in maintaining good relationships during this time. During this retrograde period, you may face sudden changes in your daily routine, both personally and professionally. These changes can affect your performance at the workplace and distract you from your goals. It is important to stay focused and avoid making hasty decisions. Instead, take time for introspection and adopt a determined approach toward existing projects to complete them successfully. Patience will be key to making things easy and successful in one attempt. From August 21st to 23rd, Mercury will transit the Gandantha zone, a sensitive area known for heightened emotions and significant karmic shifts. During this period, you may feel overwhelmed by emotional and confrontational situations. It is crucial to remain calm and avoid making any major decisions, as this transit can amplify stress and frustration. This time will also test your ability to remain balanced and composed, despite external pressures. On August 22nd, Mercury enters Cancer in retrogression, moving into your 10th house. This shift will bring new challenges and opportunities in your professional life. While the initial phase may still carry confusion and issues in communication, it also encourages introspection and deeper connections with your social circle. You may receive insights from beyond the veil, including information from past lives or experiences, which can help you navigate current challenges. During this period, it will be a good time for creativity and working with your imagination. Despite work demands, try to carve out little bits of time for relaxation and escape from the daily grind. This will help you manage stress and maintain a healthy work-life balance. Throughout this retrograde period, you may feel cornered and stressed due to various pressures. These could come from family demands, educational issues if you are a student, or pressures from your spouse or business concerns. It is important to stay calm and avoid making big decisions until after August 23rd, when things will become clearer. As Mercury turns direct on August 29th, the difficulties that seemed insurmountable will start to resolve. The initial phase of confusion and stress will give way to clarity and new opportunities. Colleagues, friends, and network circles will become more supportive, offering help and job opportunities that you thought were lost. This period marks a significant karmic shift, enabling you to leave behind past frustrations and move forward with renewed clarity and purpose. Overall, the Mercury retrograde from Leo to Cancer will test Libra individuals in various aspects of life from social connections and finances to personal relationships and professional growth. By maintaining patience, practicing introspection, and seeking spiritual guidance, you can navigate this challenging period successfully and emerge stronger and more insightful. This retrograde period will ultimately provide valuable lessons and insights, helping you grow and improve in both personal and professional realms.
Scorpio individuals will face significant challenges and opportunities during the Mercury retrograde period from August 5th to August 29th, particularly in their professional and public lives. The retrograde starts in Leo, affecting your 10th house, and then moves into Cancer, impacting your 9th house. Each phase of this retrograde brings unique dynamics, necessitating a cautious and strategic approach to navigate this period successfully. Starting on August 5th, Mercury retrogrades in Leo, impacting Scorpio's 10th house. This period will increase problems at work due to repeated mistakes and misunderstandings. The retrograde Mercury will create a certain level of confusion in how you perceive and interpret information from your immediate environment. Your speech and perceptiveness will be affected, making it harder to communicate effectively and discern the nuances of situations. Personal relationships will also suffer during this period, as your usual intelligence to discriminate between situations and arguments will decline. It will be beneficial to balance your emotions and approach situations practically while handling any relationship issues. Maintaining a calm and patient demeanor will help mitigate conflicts and misunderstandings. The retrograde Mercury will bring sudden changes in your daily routine, both personally and professionally. These changes can affect your performance at the workplace, causing distractions and making it difficult to stay focused on your goals. You might find it challenging to make the correct decisions, as the retrograde will cloud your judgment and create uncertainty. During this time, it is essential to introspect and implement a determined approach towards existing projects. You may need to rethink your strategies and plans without engaging in arguments or conflicts. Patience will be key to making things easy and successful in one attempt. Taking time to reflect on your actions and decisions will help you navigate this challenging period more effectively. From August 21st to 23rd, Mercury will transit the Gundantha zone, a sensitive area known for heightened emotions and significant karmic shifts. During this period, you may face arguments with elders or seniors, particularly regarding differences of opinion. The Gundantha transit will amplify emotional and confrontational situations, making it crucial to remain calm and avoid major decisions. This period will also demand a deeper understanding and clarity of matters. Reading books or engaging in spiritual activities will help you gain insights and find solace. While you may face relationship challenges with elders and seniors due to differing thoughts and approaches, maintaining a respectful and open-minded attitude will be beneficial. On August 22nd, Mercury enters Cancer in retrogression, moving into your ninth house. This shift will bring new challenges and opportunities in your professional and personal life. While the initial phase may still carry confusion and issues in communication, it also encourages introspection and deeper connections with your mentors and advisors. The retrograde Mercury in the ninth house will make direction and career decisions extremely difficult. You may feel stressed about changes in your career and domestic situations, leading to increased pressure. However, it is important to stay calm and avoid piling on stress, as things will unravel by themselves. Trusting the process and waiting for the right time to act will be crucial. Throughout this retrograde period, you may feel cornered and stressed due to various pressures from your professional and personal life. It is important to seek advice from superiors, teachers, lecturers, advisors, and even spiritual guides. Listening to their counsel will provide new perspectives and solutions to your problems. The combustion date of August 19th is particularly significant, as it will offer new subtle hints and ways out of difficult situations. Being cautious during the Gundantha moments will help you avoid getting into emotionally charged situations that can escalate quickly. After August 23rd, the intensity of the challenges will start to diminish and you will find clarity and solutions to your problems. As Mercury turns direct on August 29th, the difficulties will begin to resolve. The initial phase of confusion and stress will give way to clarity and new opportunities. Advisors, mentors, and superiors will become more supportive, offering valuable guidance that will help you navigate through the challenges. This period marks a significant karmic shift, enabling you to leave behind past frustrations and move forward with renewed clarity and purpose. By taking advice from trusted sources and being open to new perspectives, you will find innovative solutions to your work and home issues. Foreign travel and interactions with people from different backgrounds will also become smoother, providing additional growth opportunities. Overall, the Mercury retrograde from Leo to Cancer will test Scorpio individuals in various aspects of life, from professional challenges and personal relationships to daily routines and decision-making. By maintaining patience, practicing introspection, and seeking guidance from trusted advisors, you can navigate this challenging period successfully and emerge stronger and more insightful. This retrograde period will ultimately provide valuable lessons and insights, helping you grow and improve in both personal and professional realms.
For Sagittarius, Mercury's retrograde from August 5th to August 29th through Leo and Cancer is a period of significant reflection and challenge. This transit affects various facets of life, including professional partnerships, personal relationships, financial matters, and educational pursuits. Starting August 5th, when Mercury retrogrades in Leo, conflicts with your professional partners may arise. This retrograde period necessitates vigilance during professional deals as misunderstandings and disagreements could lead to setbacks. It is crucial to avoid taking up unnecessary responsibilities or commitments if you are not genuinely invested in the person or situation. Maintaining clear communication and setting boundaries will help prevent misunderstandings and ensure that professional relationships remain stable. The retrograde motion will also bring challenges in your personal and marital relationships. You may find it difficult to discriminate between situations and arguments, leading to conflicts and misunderstandings. It is essential to maintain a balanced approach and avoid getting involved in unnecessary arguments. This period demands patience and understanding to navigate to relationship challenges effectively. Reading books and seeking spiritual guidance can provide clarity and help you maintain inner peace during this tumultuous period. During the retrograde of Mercury in the ninth house, from August 22nd, you may face arguments with elders or seniors. Differences in opinion and approach may lead to heated discussions and misunderstandings. It is vital to dig deep into matters to gain clarity and a better understanding of the issues at hand. Engaging in respectful and open-minded conversations can help resolve conflicts and improve relationships with elders and seniors. Financial matters may also face challenges during this period. You may experience frustration due to not getting expected results in money matters. The retrograde motion of Mercury in the 8th house can bring unforeseen expenses, particularly related to health. Proper financial planning and avoiding impulsive decisions are crucial to navigating this period successfully. Relationship issues may arise due to misunderstandings and arguments. It is important to approach these challenges with a determined and disciplined mindset to achieve the desired outcomes. The transit of Mercury in the ninth house will affect educational and professional pursuits. You may need to revisit old lessons and refine your knowledge and skills. The presence of Venus in Leo and the Sun joining mid-month will provide opportunities for creative and strategic thinking. However, conflicts with authority figures and seniors may arise, particularly in educational or professional settings. Avoiding political or sensitive discussions can help prevent unnecessary conflicts and maintain harmony. Saturn's retrograde in your sixth house of work further complicates matters. This period is about correcting past mistakes and relearning important lessons. Be prepared for increased workload and the need to meticulously review your work. Conflicts with colleagues or superiors may arise, requiring patience and diplomacy to resolve. This is a time for strategic thinking and careful planning to overcome the challenges and make the most of the opportunities presented. The Gundantha Zone from August 21st to 23rd is a critical period for Sagittarius. This time will bring intense transitions and challenges, particularly in relationships and professional dealings. It's essential to be cautious and avoid making major decisions during this period. After August 23rd, as Mercury moves into Cancer, new information and insights will emerge, providing a fresh perspective. The transit will offer an opportunity for complete transformation and novel solutions to existing problems. Engaging with your spouse, business partners, and advisors will bring valuable insights and help you navigate this period successfully. Students and those involved in higher education should be cautious during this period. Misunderstandings with teachers, mentors, or authority figures may arise, leading to conflicts and setbacks. It is essential to stay focused and avoid getting involved in unnecessary arguments. Foreign travel and business dealings may face delays and frustrations. Being prepared for these challenges and maintaining a flexible approach will help mitigate the impact of these disruptions. As Mercury turns direct on August 29th, the pressure and uncertainty will begin to lift. The lessons learned during the retrograde period will start to take effect, and you will be able to implement new strategies and solutions. Financial situations will become more stable, and relationship challenges will begin to resolve. The retrograde period will have taught you valuable lessons about patience, resilience, and the importance of strategic planning. Overall, Mercury's retrograde from August 5th to August 29th is a period of significant reflection and transformation for Sagittarius. The transit through Leo and Cancer, including the Gandantha Zone, will challenge your professional partnerships, personal relationships, financial matters, and educational pursuits. However, it also offers opportunities for growth and learning. Prioritizing clear communication, maintaining a balanced approach, and focusing on strategic planning will be key strategies for navigating this period successfully. 
By the end of the retrograde, you will have gained valuable insights and be better prepared to tackle future challenges with renewed clarity and confidence. For Capricorn, Mercury's retrograde from August 5th to August 29th, through Leo and Cancer, presents a significant impact. This transit period brings both challenges and opportunities for growth, particularly in health, professional life, relationships, and financial matters. Starting on August 5th, Mercury retrogrades in Leo, impacting your 8th house. Health issues could arise due to lack of rest and increased stress. The demands at work, coupled with poor eating habits, may result in low vitality and fatigue. It's crucial to prioritize your well-being by maintaining a balanced diet and ensuring adequate rest. Managing stress through relaxation techniques such as meditation or yoga can also be beneficial. Mercury's retrograde will challenge your speech, listening, and decision-making abilities, leading to potential conflicts at work and in your love life. Misunderstandings and miscommunications may create disputes, making it essential to think before you speak and to listen actively to others. Including colleagues, loved ones, and friends in your decision-making process can help mitigate these issues and ensure a more harmonious environment. During Mercury's transit through the 8th house, you may have opportunities to learn new skills. However, the retrograde motion will present challenges, causing frustration, particularly if results in financial matters or relationships don't meet expectations. Prolonged health issues might also add to the stress. Despite these hurdles, maintaining a determined approach will help you overcome obstacles and emerge stronger. Your efforts in research and analysis-related work will be rewarded and an inclination towards occult sciences could provide new insights and perspectives. The retrograde motion of Mercury in the seventh house of Cancer from August 22nd will necessitate giving space in relationships to avoid misunderstandings and frustration. Overexpectations and hasty decisions could lead to feelings of loneliness and detachment. It's important to practice patience and understanding during this time. Venus, also present in the eighth house during this period, and the Sun joining mid-month, will amplify the focus on financial and business matters. Ketu's transit through your ninth house may bring up old authority conflicts or power struggles. Reviewing your finances or shared assets during this time will be beneficial. If you are dependent on someone or something, lessons around this dynamic will surface, pushing you towards creating more independence for yourself. Creative solutions and ideas for future execution will begin to form, but it's crucial to avoid making major business changes during the retrograde period. This period will bring uncertainty, particularly in financial situations, business matters, wills, legacies, and inheritances. The transformative eighth house influences your sense of security and future planning, necessitating a complete overhaul of your plans. The afflicted stellium, including Mercury retrograde, increases pressure from various sources, such as business partners, spouses, and market conditions. Capricorns, known for their self-sufficiency, will face old problems resurfacing between August 5th and 29th, causing concern and worry. It's essential to stay calm and patient, knowing that solutions will come. The Gundamtha zone from August 21st to 23rd marks a period of intense transitions. This time is critical for avoiding major decisions and focusing on managing existing issues. After August 23rd, as Mercury moves into Cancer's seventh house, new information and insights will emerge. Listening to others will be key, as their advice will provide novel solutions to your problems. Maintaining honesty and openness with your partner or spouse is crucial, as Rahu's influence could cause hidden issues to surface. This period will offer the opportunity for transformative solutions in financial, business, and relationship matters. As Mercury turns direct on August 29th, the pressure and uncertainty will begin to lift. New solutions and insights gained during the retrograde will start to take effect. Financial situations will become less pressing and you will be able to implement novel strategies to address concerns in various areas of your life. The retrograde period will have taught you valuable lessons about patience, resilience, and the importance of seeking advice from others. Overall, Mercury's retrograde from August 5th to August 29th is a period of significant transformation for Capricorn. The transit through Leo and Cancer, including the Gundantha zone, will challenge your health, professional life, relationships, and financial matters. However, it also offers opportunities for learning and growth. Prioritizing health, maintaining open communication, and seeking advice from others will be key strategies for navigating this period successfully. By the end of the retrograde, you will have gained valuable insights and be better prepared to tackle future challenges with renewed clarity and confidence.
For Aquarius, Mercury's retrograde from August 5th to August 29th, through Leo and Cancer, presents a significant period of introspection and challenge. This transit will impact professional endeavors, personal relationships, and financial matters. From August 5th, when Mercury turns retrograde in Leo, Aquarius will find their professional ventures facing significant obstacles. Despite your efforts, the results may not be as expected, leading to setbacks in your career. This period will test your focus and dedication, with a tendency for your attention to waver. It's essential to remain patient and persistent, recognizing that these challenges are temporary. Ego issues may also surface, disturbing personal relationships and creating tension. Clear communication with loved ones and professional associates is crucial to navigate these challenges smoothly. The retrograde transit of Mercury through your seventh house highlights issues in personal relationships. Overexpectations and hasty decisions can lead to feelings of loneliness and detachment. It's important to give space in relationships and avoid making impulsive decisions. Ego clashes can disturb the harmony, so maintaining a clear and honest conversation with your partner is vital. Delays in marriage prospects may occur, adding to the frustration. However, this period is an opportunity to reassess and strengthen your relationship dynamics. During Mercury's retrograde in the seventh house, you will meet many new people at the workplace and potentially take on multiple projects. However, managing these projects and updating your skills can pose significant challenges, impacting your career. Clear and efficient management practices are necessary to handle the increased workload and avoid career issues. This period demands adaptability and a willingness to learn from setbacks. As Mercury retrogrades through the sixth house, financial challenges, like loan-related problems, may arise. Poor financial planning can lead to stress and relationship issues. The retrograde motion will force you to introspect and reassess your financial strategies. It's crucial to avoid making hasty financial decisions and instead focus on long-term stability. This period also brings an inclination towards learning healing and medical-related knowledge, providing an opportunity to help those in need and gain valuable skills. The transit of retrograde Mercury in the sixth house will affect your subconscious thoughts, leading to increased stress about financial security. Patience is key when making major financial decisions during this time. The introspective nature of this transit will help you understand your strengths and weaknesses, allowing you to develop a more strategic approach to your financial and personal goals. Venus's presence in the seventh house during Mercury's retrograde will bring a mix of harmony and challenges to your love life. The sun joining mid-month will amplify the focus on relationships and communication. While this isn't the best month for love life, things will improve towards the end of the month. This period is ideal for reviewing your finances, especially if you are self-employed. The sun's influence will help you communicate with empathy and authority, improving your interactions with others. With K2 transiting your eighth house, old family issues may resurface, adding to the stress. You may find yourself opposing the wishes of your spouse or business partner, creating tension. It's important to recognize that your attempts to help may be perceived as controlling. Be cautious, especially around the gun down to transit from August 21st to 23rd, as you could be pushed into a corner. Listening to others and making compromises will be crucial during this period. The pressure will begin to resolve after August 23rd, leading to new insights and solutions. The Gundantha Zone from August 21st to 23rd is a critical period for Aquarius. This time will bring intense transitions and challenges, particularly in relationships and professional dealings. It's essential to be cautious and avoid making major decisions during this period. After August 23rd, as Mercury moves into Cancer, new information and insights will emerge. Listening to your spouse, business partners, and colleagues will provide valuable perspectives and open up new possibilities. This period will teach you the importance of compromise and collaboration. As Mercury turns direct on August 29th, the pressure and uncertainty will begin to lift. New solutions and insights gained during the retrograde will start to take effect. Financial situations will become less pressing, and you will be able to implement novel strategies to address concerns in various areas of your life. The retrograde period will have taught you valuable lessons about patience, resilience, and the importance of seeking advice from others. Overall, Mercury's retrograde from August 5th to August 29th is a period of significant transformation for Aquarius. The transit through Leo and Cancer, including the Gundantha Zone, will challenge your health, professional life, relationships, and financial matters. However, it also offers opportunities for learning and growth. Prioritizing health, maintaining open communication, and seeking advice from others will be key strategies for navigating this period successfully. By the end of the retrograde, 
you will have gained valuable insights and be better prepared to tackle future challenges with renewed clarity and confidence. For Pisces, Mercury's retrograde from August 5th to August 29th through Leo and Cancer represents a period of significant introspection and challenge. This transit impacts various aspects of life, including domestic and marital relationships, health, professional endeavors, and financial matters. From August 5th, when Mercury turns retrograde in Leo, Pisces will experience disturbances in domestic and marital relationships. This period will test your patience and communication skills, as misunderstandings and conflicts are likely to arise. Clear communication with loved ones and professional partners is crucial to navigate these challenges smoothly. Adopting a balanced and practical approach will help maintain harmony and resolve conflicts effectively. Health issues and related expenses are a significant concern during this retrograde period. The stress and workload may take a toll on your vitality, leading to fatigue and other health problems. It's essential to prioritize self-care and avoid neglecting health matters. Regular checkups and maintaining a healthy lifestyle can help mitigate some of these challenges. You may feel the pressure of loan-related problems, which can cause financial strain. Proper financial planning and patience are necessary to avoid further complications. At work, you may feel cheated or deceived by others, leading to professional setbacks. This period is not ideal for launching new projects or making significant career moves. Instead, focus on reviewing and perfecting your current projects. The presence of Venus in Leo and the Sun joining mid-month will provide an opportunity to polish your work and pay attention to finer details. Taking extra time to ensure everything is perfect will be beneficial. This period demands strategic thinking and meticulous planning to prepare for future successes. The retrograde motion of Mercury in the sixth house will force you to introspect and reassess your financial strategies. Financial security will be a major concern, and you may experience impatience while making significant financial decisions. This period encourages learning and gaining knowledge related to healing and medical fields, which can provide new perspectives and solutions. It's crucial to avoid hasty financial decisions and focus on long-term stability. Proper financial planning and a disciplined approach will help you navigate these challenges effectively. Mercury's transit through the sixth house will affect your subconscious thoughts, leading to increased stress about financial security and other matters. This period requires patience and a disciplined approach to handle the challenges that arise. You may feel inclined to learn new skills related to healing and medical fields, which can provide a sense of purpose and direction. Helping others in need will bring a sense of fulfillment and reduce stress. As Mercury retrogrades through the fifth house, your decision-making abilities may be affected by sudden changes in plans and strategies. You might struggle to express your views or feelings clearly, leading to misunderstandings. It's important to be patient and avoid making impulsive decisions during this period. A determined and practical approach will help you achieve the expected success and results. This phase is an opportunity to introspect and refine your decision-making process. Venus's presence in Leo and the Sun joining mid-month will bring a mix of harmony and challenges. While this period isn't ideal for love life, things will improve towards the end of the month. This is a good time to review your projects and focus on perfecting your work. The Sun's influence will help you communicate with empathy and authority, improving your interactions with others. Love life will pick up again mid-month, bringing renewed energy and positivity. The Gundantha zone from August 21st to 23rd is a critical period for Pisces. This time will bring intense transitions and challenges, particularly in relationships and professional dealings. It's essential to be cautious and avoid making major decisions during this period. After August 23rd, as Mercury moves into Cancer, new information and insights will emerge. Rahu's influence will inspire new ideas and solutions, providing a fresh perspective. This period will teach you the importance of patience and adaptability. As Mercury turns direct on August 29th, the pressure and uncertainty will begin to lift. New solutions and insights gained during the retrograde will start to take effect. Financial situations will become less pressing, and you will be able to implement novel strategies to address concerns in various areas of your life. The retrograde period will have taught you valuable lessons about patience, resilience, and the importance of strategic planning. Overall, Mercury's retrograde from August 5th to August 29th is a period of significant transformation for Pisces. The transit through Leo and Cancer, including the Gundantha Zone, will challenge your domestic and marital relationships, health, professional endeavors, and financial matters. However, it also offers opportunities for learning and growth. Prioritizing health, 
maintaining open communication, and focusing on strategic planning will be key strategies for navigating this period successfully. By the end of the retrograde, you will have gained valuable insights and be better prepared to tackle future challenges with renewed clarity and confidence. As we wrap up this transit episode, remember that these insights are based on sidereal or Vedic astrology, which accounts for the approximately 24 degree difference with the tropical zodiac. If you'd like more personalized predictions for their specific zodiac sign or have any questions about their astrological chart, feel free to reach out to us. Stay tuned for more astrological updates. If they found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more astrology insights. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so they never miss an update. Thank they once again for joining us, and we eagerly anticipate sharing more astrological wisdom with they in the future. Until then, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep shining bright.